Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of the monster breeding tutorial for GameMaker 2. In this episode, we'll be creating a place to store monsters, including any children that are bred as well. Hey guys, so the first thing we're going to do is everything that we commented out is going to be deleted because we know the game works after our changes. So in SCR breed, all this is going to go, bam, SCR create monsters. All this is going to go. OPJ monster create event gone. Draw event gone. Uh, breed box, yeah. So the draw event of breed box as well gone. Just our new code and the create event as well. Okay, cool. Okay, guys. So the only extra thing I've done so far is I've made a new sprite called SPR storage. It's 72 by 72 pixels because I wanted to have a four pixel border on either side, um, just so there's a nice margin after drawing the monsters. What we're now going to do is we're going to create a 2D array and we're going to use this to draw the monsters that we have in storage. Uh, we're not going to use um, the, the OBJ monster for this. It's just going to be the 2D array. So make a new script and it's going to be called SCR storage. And We're going to reset max monsters equals 12. I'm going to say for var i equals 0. i is less than max monsters. i plus plus. And then we're also going to need to make another variable called array size. So array size equals. Uh, let's see, did we call it in OBJ main? Yeah, create monsters. Huh. Okay, just for the sake of simplicity, we're going to retype our features array here. Although at some point I think we're going to make it a global array. So a features 0 equals 0. Just copy and paste this. 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we're going to say array size equals a features. Oops array length 1D and then A features. Uh, normally I would um, I wouldn't have typed this, I would just put um, obj monster dot A features but um, we're not going to be creating any monsters, any ob objects before calling the script, so it's just going to throw an error. So that's why we're going to do this for now. Uh, okay, so now we can do for for our j equals zero. J is less than array size j plus plus. Uh, previously, we would have just typed uh, six for this, but 
um, as our arrays grow, which they will because we're going to add new things to them, I'm sure, it's better to check the size of them before doing a for loop. And now we're going to have another array called a storage. I'm going to say ij equals zero. Mm. No, we're going to say ij equals minus one. So minus one means empty. Now we're going to create a new object called obj storage and in the draw event we'll say uh, for var let's do r equals zero r is less than Array size R plus plus now we'll do R less than two then another for loop for var S equals zero S is less than six S plus plus and we're going to say draw sprite SPR storage zero XX plus R times sprite width. Y Y plus S times SPR height and let's add one more variable plus buffer and here plus buffer so we've got a few more variables to create now. So we're going to say xx equals zero and yy equals zero buffer can equal two for now. SPR width equals sprite get width SPR storage SPR height equals sprite get height SPR storage and we're going to move these variables and put them into the create event And we're also going to call SCR storage in the create event here too. Although we're probably going to move this into OBJ main at some point, but for now, here's here's a good place. Let's also get rid of. Let's just. In OBJ main, let's comment out SCR create monsters and also in the step event, comment this out too. Uh, hopefully, this isn't going to give us any errors. I'm just hoping to see uh, the work we've done so far get drawn on, onto the screen. <laughs> yeah, of course, we, we didn't put the object into the room. Okay. Uh, so in obj main create event 
uh, storage equals instance create depth uh, zero 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 again obj storage try again now that we have our boxes uh, let's make this area the two breed boxes a bit more a bit spaced out better it's obj main let's comment out the two breed boxes for now and we want to find out how much of the room we have left to work with so um, room width x no uh, new equals room width minus sprite get width spr storage plus obj oh, we can't use that can we uh, we'll just have to say 2 because we know the buffer is 2 and then times up by 2 so that should give us the amount of room we've got left to space out our buttons and box width equals sprite get width SPR breed box and we're going to divide that by two because then we'll, we'll we're going to say B box 1x equals Okay, we need one more variable uh, margin equals this this bbox1 equals margin plus bbox width and bbox 1y equals room height minus 96 b box two x yeah we'll just use that that's fine room width new b box y equals b box 1y and then we can copy and paste this code so it should be um, should be room width minus b box width let's bring in these boxes by another sprite another 64 pixels say so, um, sprite get width
Okay, that's better. And we also want to place breed box in the middle. The breed button, sorry. Comment out this bit for the breed button. And but x equals margin plus room width new divided by two and but y can stay the same as it was before. And copy and paste this line as well. And if I have calculated it properly, the breed button should be in between the two boxes. Okay, cool. Now we are going to populate the storage, the 2D array with some monsters. Okay, so in OBJ storage, the draw event, we are going to tell it to draw any, any monsters that are inside. So let's just remind ourselves of what the array is. A storage. Okay, so if a storage and we want to account for this, I think, aren't we?
Okay, so here's the code for drawing our monsters. Um, we don't, we haven't created any monsters yet, so the storage is still going to be empty. So we're now going to go into the create monster script, and we're just going to uh, add a few to the array. Just comment everything out as, as normal. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy this. Uh, we're going to say max monsters equals four. We'll just have four this time. Uh, sprite width. Yeah, sorry, copy this as well. And And this. What we're going to do is we're actually going to make um, a storage a global var because it's just going to be easier for us really. It's a bit naughty because global var, uh, global var isn't going to be around forever. It's just there for um, older code so that the older code still works. But it's a lot easier. Than typing global dot so obj storage it's everywhere that we have a storage it needs to be ga storage because it's we can't get a global array now da -da. Okay, so now in script create monsters, uh, GA storage H. Oops. Oh, yeah, we need another for loop for var uh, i equals zero, i is less than six, i plus plus, GA storage h i equals i random three that should give us four randomly generated monsters so let's run the game and see if it's working variable obj storage dot count not set of course it wasn't because we didn't set it <laughs> okay uh, obd storage count uh, create event count equals zero uh, and we didn't increase either so uh, in this loop at the end count plus plus oh yeah we didn't change this one just do a quick search so we're searching for a storage yeah cool try again okay so we must have gone over 12 for the away uh, Count. Okay, yeah, I see the problem. Um, we set count at zero in the create event, but um, we're not resetting it to naught, so we're going to need to do this here at the top. Count equals zero. 
because otherwise uh, count is going to just keep increasing and never stop. <sighs> of course, we're not calling SEO monsters. So storage. No. In OBG main. Going to uncomment on. Un in OBG main, we're going to run this script one time and that will generate us some monsters. Okay, so we're actually overwriting the array. So take it out of, take the script out of OBG main and we're going to put it in OBG storage. Uh, yeah, right after there. So we're going to create the array first and then we're going to add monsters to it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, so they're not being drawn in the right place. Let's have a look at this. Okay, of course. So we need to center our SPR storage to middle center. And we're now going to need to change the code. So it's going to be 32, no, uh, 35, 36. OBD storage victory <clears throat> so we now got four monsters in the storage boxes Okay, so we're going to end this episode here for now. Uh, the next episode, we're going to be able to select these monsters, uh, breed them together, and delete or add new ones to the list. I shall see you next time, guys. Hey, game makers. If you enjoyed the video, you can help the channel with a like and subscribe. It really helps. Feel free to leave a comment below, too.